When I first joined media, the first task I was set was to create a prelim. My initial knowledge on films was very bleak and I didn't understand how films were made and anything to do with them. My first insight in some ways in which films were made and some types of shots that were commonly used in film were those that David taught me in lesson. These shots were shot reverse shot, the 180 degree rule and the match in action. When I was set my prelim task I had to incorporate these shots at least once. Since I did my prelim task, my understanding and knowledge on how films were made and what goes into making them a success has broadened. I have learnt since shooting my prelim about new various different shot techniques, angle, editing styles and much more. I've learnt this throughout the year and doing the research task also learning from Dave during lessons. This new understanding of how the film industry works and how films are made has, has enabled me to include these techniques in my own work such as my film opening which myself and some of the my classmates made as part of our coursework. One of the fundamental roles that I learnt during the making of the film opening was time management and when scheduling everything to make sure that I was on top of my work and had to be completed. When we filmed our film opening, we had to create an inbox onto the social network in Facebook so that as a group we were able to stay in contact with one another and update each other on when and where we were going to meet to film our opening and also to confirm whether or not we were available to ensure that we did not waste time. Obviously this didn't help due to the fact that some of us had jobs and other activities on certain dates so we had to schedule it for an appropriate time when we were available. Also we had to make idents to incorporate in our film opening so that anyone watching it would know which company produced our films and the ident I made was Paper Plane Productions. And with the prelim, there was not much point in making a storyboard or planning what shots to do in what scenes, whereas in our film, we had to plan shooting schedules and have shot lists showing us what shot types to use in what scenes, and also plenty of storyboards showing the idea has been fully planned. When we did our prelim, we lacked mise-en-scene, and we didn't include props, our outfits for our characters, which meant that it lacked detail and didn't look very good. However, since I have made my prelim, the work that I have produced since and incorporated these techniques, which has meant that my films are now better with much more thought and ideas that go into each and every scene. Each prop or costume will hold some purpose to signify a certain point. For example, the blood on the killer's white apron. This was to signify that he's butchered the victim. Then with our film opening, we had to have a larger cast than we did for our prelim, which brought complications such as finding the cast because for each character role we had to make sure the actor fulfilled the requirements needed for the character and it was especially difficult to plan dates of specific shoots as our casting crew would be available at different times so this is completely different to the prelim where we just could use ourselves to film it and was capable of just doing it in school whereas we had to Locate, to do some location scouting for our film opening to find a location that fitted the requirements that our film needed. Also, for also for out film for, for out film opening, we had to also for our film opening, we had to do a much larger variety of takes than we did in our prelim, or as our opening is up to 2.40 minutes long. So obviously it's going to be of required a lot more footage than the prelim did. But also trial shots were needed in our film opening to test ideas for shots to see if they worked or not. And then there's always the problem with one shot not working so we'd have to go back and reshoot the scene. Or if one of the actors did something wrong we'd have to film another take. So here there was much more to get done than there was needed for the prelim. And there's all the editing process that we had to go through with our film opening, which we didn't need to do for our prelim, as it was much simpler. For example, all the shots had to be cut to a length and adjusted slightly, so that the end product would look neat. But also there's all the soundtracks that we had to make to fit in with our film opening, which we never had to do for our prelim. So we had to learn how to make these soundtracks as well as incorporate them into our film. Then there was all the audience feedback that we had to collect as well as going through it and understand what worked with our film opening or what improvements needed to be done. 
and this is where all our rough cuts come in hand as from each rough cut we could just publish it online for example we use YouTube to exhibit our rough cuts for our audiences to be able to access it but also they were able to give us instant feedback by commenting on the video and with the prelim we didn't have to do this any of this in conclusion the improvements since my prelim are a lot better and I've made the work that I now produce a lot better to a higher quality this is due to the fact that my understanding is a lot better and I am aware of which shop types, angles, props, etc. to use.